back to Ice Wolves Insider. We're joined right now by Ice Wolves Head Coach and Director of Hockey Operations, Bob Beatty. Uh, Bob, once again, welcome to the program. Thanks, Kelly. All right, so obviously a very successful, uh, but short, but it's very successful preseason for uh, you guys. Uh, uh, you had the 90th victory in home ice uh, Wednesday night and then came up with a uh, quite impressive uh, 5-1 victory there in Melford on Saturday night. Uh, maybe give us your thoughts on both games. We'll start with the... Uh, I guess the uh, the scorathon there on uh, on Wednesday night on a home ice. Uh, what do you take out of that uh, that nine eight victory there? Well, obviously it's nice to score nine goals. You don't uh, want to have to score nine goals to win a hockey game. You know there were some good things offensively, obviously, but uh, you know you can't give up eight goals. I thought uh, you know it was our first exhibition game. We had uh, both young goaltenders and we had. Uh, our, you know, six new defensemen in. We didn't have any veterans uh, playing on the back end. Uh, and we, you know, we were scrambling without the puck a little bit. I thought, uh, you know, uh, Saturday night was much better. But, uh, uh, you know, Saturday night was a be much better effort overall. I thought we controlled uh, the puck pretty well. We, we had, you know, a, a good forecheck going and we were much better on our side of the red line yeah yeah you, you had to be really impressed with uh you know obviously you, you had a couple of veterans there on the blue line but everybody else i'm assuming was was rookies there for you and to be able to uh, to hold uh, the mustangs uh, reportedly to about 22 23 shots tonight that had to be uh, pretty gratifying to see your, your your blue line your young blue line court come through like that well it was i thought uh, you know they were playing the body well they were they were aggressive they were picking up their man away from the puck pretty well and uh, you know we had a, a pretty good back check and uh, um, you know it was uh, for our second exhibition game of the year I, I, I think it was a real good outing like, uh, with and without the puck I thought the guys uh, you know had a good uh, read on the systems that we want to use and uh, they executed fairly well for being only the second game of the year. All right. So you've uh, welcomed uh, a few new players, uh, obviously as, as camp has progressed here, and uh, lately you've uh, welcomed uh, three Alberta products, and hopefully you couldn't remember the names here, uh, Graham Smerick, Dylan Thomas, and uh, Remillard, I believe. Is he, Justin Remillard, is that right? So, that's, that's right. Okay. Justin uh, Remillard just skated for the first time this morning, and. Uh, you know, he's got a year's experience, he's got good speed, and, uh, you know, the book on him says that he's a very uh, fierce competitor. You know, he seems to be strong on the puck, and I think he'll fit in quite nicely. Uh, you know, he does have a year of junior A experience, which is, uh, you know, it's good when you're, you know, breaking in a lot of new players uh, as we are this year. Yeah. What, what have you seen so far from uh, uh, Thomas and Samaritan? there? Well, Dylan Thomas is a big... Uh, strong defenseman uh, you know he's an 18 year old he was a defenseman of the year in the rural alberta midget league last year uh, he's definitely got some some tools you know he uh, along with a couple of the other uh, young defensemen will will definitely have a learning curve but uh, there's certainly lots to work with there and uh, you know we, we like what we see so far graham samaric uh, as well uh, you know he's a uh, a smaller body, but uh, certainly uh, plays with an edge. He's got a uh, pretty good skill set, uh, you know, very good vision on the ice, and, uh, and uh, definitely, uh, you know, will add some spark to our lineup. All right. Now, uh, you, you, you seem to be pretty uh, pleased with your, uh, your young blue line, but um, at some point, do you see yourself perhaps uh, adding a, a veteran or two? Uh, uh, how, do you, how do you see this uh, blue line, I guess, uh, shaping up over the course of the season? Well, I think it's a common theme uh, amongst most of the teams in our league that, uh, you know, everybody is looking for defense. I, I really like what we have to work with. You know, if we can improve our hockey club by adding uh, an experienced defenseman, we definitely, you know, will uh, weigh uh, the costs and, and see if we, uh, you know, we can accomplish that. All right. So uh, with the group you have now, you have, uh, I believe, 25 players uh, as we speak. Um, how close do you think you are to uh, basically finalizing at least a, an opening right night roster here? Well, we can only dress 20 guys. 
I think uh, you know we're we're fairly close to uh, getting down to uh, you know what we think we need to get down to uh, you know before Friday. We'll probably you know have some discussions with players and uh, you know determine if they're going to be satisfied with the role that we see them fitting into and uh, and try and make our uh, our cuts from there. All right. Looking ahead to this weekend, <clears throat> excuse me, you have the Nip 1 Hawks uh, Friday night. Um, I'm not sure if you've had a chance to see the Hawks or see any scouting reports. What do you know about the club? Uh, well, they stage? have a lot of returnees. Uh, you know, we haven't uh, had the opportunity to pre-scout them or, or see any of the games that they've played. Uh, but we know that they're going to be a, a, you know, a, a, an improved team. They, they worked extremely hard last year. I think they've got... Uh, you know, a, a good group coming back definitely have uh, potential to, uh, you know, to compete in the in the division. And uh, they've got some new players that uh, we don't know a lot about, but uh, we'll try and uh, get a read on those guys uh, sometime this week. And you know, we're just gonna try and uh, make sure that we're playing our game and uh, get some consistency to our systems and. Uh, let them adjust to us. We're, uh, you know, we don't need to be changing things before we get started. We're just going to make sure that we, you know, our guys know what uh, what they're supposed to do in different situations, and uh, you know, work on some specialty teams this week and uh, uh, try and get ready for Friday night. All right. Just finally, Bob, uh, what's the? Do you sense the excitement level growing? In the, in the dressing room just a few days ahead of uh, the opener here? Yeah, I think the, the attitude and the environment is real good. You know, the culture uh, is good. They, uh, they intend to defend the title, and uh, that's exactly what we want uh, the attitude to be. So uh, it's a good group of guys. They, they've been working extremely hard in practice and, on, and off ice. So, you know, we, uh, we know we're going to be a well-conditioned team, and. Uh, you know, we want to be a team that never gets outworked. You know, we have 58 games, and uh, if we can outwork the other team 58 times, I think uh, we'll certainly get our share of wins. All right. Well, Bob, all the best this weekend, and thanks very much for doing this tonight. Thanks a lot, Kelly. All right. If you're just joining us, this is Ice Wolves Insider. We've been talking with Ice Wolves head coach Bob Beatty. We'll be right back with From the Stands.